Hi, I'm Chris Morby. I've been in the meat industry over 40 years and I'm now a tutor at the School of Artisan Food. I'm sure you're all able to cook pork at home. What I'm going to show you are tips and techniques that will allow you to take your cooking skills to the next level. The product that I'm going to show you how to make today is pancetta. Pancetta is a lightly spiced, cured belly of pork. And in fact, pancetta, which is an Italian word, literally translates to little belly. The belly pork that I'm using is from a, a British uh, free range pig, uh, bought from my local butchers. And uh, although I've prepared it, you could actually, I'm sure, get your own butcher to, to, to prepare it, which literally means removing the bones, removing the skin, although some pancetta will still have the rind uh, on it. And so we're left with a piece of meat that's skinned and deboned. What we're adding to that is an organic curing salt. The salt has been weighed out and it's, it's added to the piece of meat as a percentage. And that way, the belly pork will not get any saltier. So the firstly, we sprinkle the salt across one side of the belly and we vigorously rub that in, making sure we get it into all crevices, into in between uh, the seams. And then we turn it over and we put salt on uh, the other side. And then what we can actually do is we can massage the belly against the side of the bowl, which will ensure that all that salt gets picked up. It's important that when you are weighing it off, you weigh it off accurately and you, and you utilize all the salt. Once that meat has picked up the salt, this is what we're looking at. Now we need to get a, a bag. You can use a plastic bag. You can put it into a, uh, into a plastic bowl and just cover it, but it needs to be covered. And then we turn that over. You would then put it back into your bowl because the, you're gonna have some liquid come out of it. So, so make sure that that liquid will stay in contact with the meat. The meat wants to be in the fridge for a minimum of seven days, turning the belly every day, and making sure it's in contact with that liquid. So after seven days, take it out of the fridge, and this is what the belly should look like. What you can also see is the amount of moisture that it's lost, and that's normal. That's been drawn out by the salt, thereby changing the texture of the meat, and also putting in a nice, subtle flavour uh, of salt. So the second part of it is to rinse off the residual salt. And rather than doing it with water, I'm actually using white wine vinegar. This uh, rinses off the salt, breaks the, the residual salt down, but it also has a little uh, antiseptic effect so that it helps in the, uh, in the shelf life, in the preservation of the product. So we'll literally rinse that off and then give the cured belly pork nice dry on a clean tea towel. And that's the pancetta cured. What we need to do now is ramp up that flavor. And we can do this by adding really spices, herbs of your own choice. The ones that I'm using today are a mixture, of, and these are all freshly ground. They're a mixture of fennel, coriander, and black pepper. And now, don't want too much on it, wants to be a subtle flavour and we are sprinkling it all over the surface and then we would turn that over and do the same on the other side. So that's, that's nicely covered now and that then will go back into the fridge for at least two weeks and it needs to sit on a wire or on a rack because it needs to have the air completely circulating around it because what you want to do now is you want the flavors to develop and you also want a little bit of drying to take place so that the texture firms up. So this is the finished uh, piece of pancetta that I've just taken out of the fridge. It's been in there for about three weeks. What I did before I put it in was weigh it and I, I checked it regularly to see how much weight it lost and this has actually lost about 20% from, from its original weight. I know then that the product has dried out. So now it's ready to, to use. 
Just a few tips on how to, to cut the pancetta. If you're wanting to make thin slices and you've only got a knife to slice it with, put the pancetta into a freezer for 30 minutes. This will firm up the pancetta enough for you to be able to, to slice it uh, thinly. So we can use thin slices, see how firm that meat is. That's exactly how it should be. Absolutely full of flavour. So we've got either thin, thinly sliced, like so, or it can be diced and used for making sauces, it can be used in stews, in cassoulets, and it makes a wonderful carbonara sauce. But the other thing about pancetta is that it makes a wonderful bacon sarnie.